A negative COVID test is no longer a free pass to eat indoors in Philadelphia. Starting today, the city is requiring customers ages 12 and over to show proof that they've received two doses of the vaccine. As of Friday, just over 78% of adults were fully vaccinated in Philadelphia. That means 22% of adults won't be able to step foot in a restaurant to sit down and dine. And also unwelcome are the unvaccinated visitors who often come in from around the tri-state. Action News reporter Corey Davis is live in Rittenhouse Square with reaction from restaurant workers. Corey, I'm imagining they are stealing themselves for some not so fun conversations all day, all night long as people try to come through the door. Yeah, Tam, restaurant owners and those workers you mentioned there, they're just trying to juggle all of this as, as they move forward into uh, checking those vaccination cards, as well as just trying to stay healthy, too. And they also want more business as well. You know, this has been a cold January. A lot of restaurants are across this area, Rittenhouse Square, around the city. They're experiencing lower numbers when it comes to the number of visitors in their business. The grace period to show proof of a negative COVID test to enter an establishment that serves food or drink in Philadelphia has ended. Proof of vaccination is now the only option. When it comes to restaurant operations, we're told COVID is still causing major issues. I mean, we're still seeing restaurants close. It's going to be a long time before we recover. Restaurants are experiencing these last two weeks, some of the worst two weeks they've, they've had since COVID started, even worse than last January. New numbers from our 6ABC data journalism team reveal visits right now are almost as low as they were during the initial shutdowns of April 2020. The numbers have gone up and down with each wave and through the spread of the Delta variant, but visits have once again taken a plunge during the Omicron surge. In many restaurants are understaffed right now, so if you lose just a couple restaurant, uh, a couple employees, you may have to close down. Both of my managers and the cook in the back are out right now. Um, yeah, so it's been difficult. I would consider myself and my coworkers to be high risk just because we come across so many people a day. It's important to me to like stay on top of my health and um, get tested often. And right now, workers and children ages five years and three months through the age of 11 still have a little bit more time until February 3rd to complete their series of vaccination shots. In the meantime, though, it appears that the number of visits when it comes to customers going into restaurants, that number is going up in some of the suburban counties, but it has yet to rise according to our data here in Philadelphia. So they still have a ways to go when it comes to making a recovery. Reporting live here at Rittenhouse Square, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News.